many of the things to come back to the front, if I can say it that way. In other words, what I do with the background pretty much have an impact on what I do in the front. So I put in more, yeah, and I can go here and use some that green here over the brown. And as you will see, it's giving, it's giving the painting another. We can darken. We can darken some of the sides a little bit more, like this with more blue, right here, right here, like that darken. And then as you see, my painting is more like a, the painting of a child. And then, I don't know, I really like to do this kind of paintings that are like a naive. You know, it looks like a, it's, it wasn't an adult painting this, but it wasn't a child, but it was a child. As you can see, I'm putting some dark areas and then later I will apply the light areas and then probably you will see that it really holds well the color. For example, I can reapply some lighter green here and you can see how it mix with the other layers, I can, yeah, you can see how it helps, like this. And then you put more green, yellow green. I can add more yellow too, but let me, let me do this, some yellow, to create the idea that it's not that far away. And then I can also, if I want, apply more yellow to the sky which that's what I'm doing I probably will leave the house as they are because if I continue trying more color probably the paper will not be able to hold the color that well as you can see I'm combining two different kinds of blues to see if I can gain more more brighter uh, sky and then adding some water here and then what we will do is we will dry it before we sign it to see in the painting to see what kind of product we have maybe we need a little uh, light brown or sienna on the houses so they don't look completely flat i'm applying some sienna over the other colors including the Clearing the roof and I'm trying to Sienna. Yeah. And then it could be some Sienna here. That can give the more it can help the, the houses look over the floor. The soil, I mean planted in the earth, not just suspended in the air. The other thing I can do is I can use dark green with dark blue to kind of create a little bit more detail here on the on the bushes. So look what I'm doing. Applying little pieces of color here on the bushes. What the only problem with doing this as you can see is now I will need to blend the colors that are close to where I created the details. In other words, I will need to apply probably some yellow here or, or another green, you can see. So kind of blend, otherwise it looks, it doesn't look that good. But I'm trying to blend it with the other, the help of yellow. And then you can see, I can blend it here. And I think it's pretty much okay. As you can see, pretty much I have a painting that is it's not that bad, right, for a testing. So let's do now and dry it one more time. While drying your painting, you can start looking at the, what you have accomplished. 
trying to see if you like what you have done. It may not be perfect, but it's what you did. probably dry after applying this um, hot warm air and then I'm trying to recover the, the texture of the paper because it's blending blending probably needs more dryness but in the meantime while drying I observed that there are some little drops of color that fall out of place so I'm trying I did the cleanup and then maybe I will add a little bit. I, you, I, you know, I love the yellow. I will add some yellow too, just to work in some of the final details. It's unnecessary. It's just, I really like to have the yellow. Yeah, but it's, it's not really necessary. And then now I will use a little, maybe black just to sign the painting. When did I put it that it doesn't affect too much the painting? I will do it on the left, but I don't know. I need to be careful how I sign it because it's on a small painting. Yeah, it didn't go well. Let's do it here and then clean up later. <laughs> so. Well, I'm signing here. It's a little bit for a small painting. And what can we do? Yes. You never know, sometimes I spend a lot of time signing the painting more than just preparing the painting. 